Six years ago, the world heard a startling warning from Australia. A fish capable of devastating ecosystems both on land and in water was closing in. Scientists predicted this tiny invader could destabilize the natural balance, threatening dozens of species and altering the environment in unimaginable ways. It wasn't a massive predator or a mysterious deep-sea creature. It was a small fish, unassuming in appearance but deadly in its capabilities. Let's dive into the fascinating and terrifying story of the climbing perch, a creature whose potential for destruction knows no bounds. Climbing Perch Life on Earth has always been marked by incredible evolutionary feats. Millions of years ago, some fish transitioned from water to land, adapting to an environment with no predators and plenty of resources. This transition gave rise to amphibians and, eventually, the vast array of land-dwelling animals we see today. But the climbing perch, or Anaba testudinius, isn't interested in following the path of evolution to become something new. Instead, it uses its unique adaptations to wreak havoc wherever it goes. The climbing perch is a relatively small fish, growing up to 9.8 inches in length. Despite its size, it has evolved remarkable survival tools. Its sharp dorsal fin and spiky gill covers aren't just for show, they serve as weapons capable of killing predators from the inside out. When swallowed, the fish extends its fins and gill spikes, lodging itself in the predator's throat. This can lead to death by suffocation or starvation. Larger fish, birds, turtles, and even mammals have fallen victim to this brutal defense mechanism. The climbing perch makes no exceptions, attacking any creature that dares to eat it. Even handling this fish is a challenge. Its sharp fins can cut through skin, making it as dangerous to touch as it is to consume. These characteristics make the climbing perch a formidable opponent in the animal kingdom. Stick around, because the next part reveals an even more shocking twist about the climbing perch. At first glance, the idea of birds or other predators being unable to eat the climbing perch might not seem like a big deal. But ecosystems are delicate networks where every species plays a role. If birds, for instance, decline in number due to injuries or deaths caused by eating climbing perch, the effects can cascade. A reduction in bird populations can lead to a rise in crop-destroying insects or rodents, further upsetting the balance. Currently, about 40% of the world's crops are lost to pests and diseases, with insects alone causing $70 billion in damages annually. Introducing climbing perch into a new ecosystem amplifies these problems by disrupting predator-prey dynamics. This fish doesn't consider the long-term consequences of its presence. It simply spreads and survives, leaving chaos in its wake. Did you know, the climbing perch can even survive out of water for days. Keep watching to uncover more surprising facts. The climbing perch originates from Southeast Asia, but over the past four decades, it has steadily expanded its range southward through Indonesia and beyond. This relentless spread is facilitated by its ability to adapt to almost any condition. Crowded waters? No problem. The climbing perch can crawl out and find a new water source. A drying pond? The fish burrows into the mud and waits for better conditions. Food scarcity? It ventures onto land, confident it will find sustenance. What's even more astonishing is how the climbing perch moves on land. It has developed a special breathing organ that holds water and hydrates its gills, allowing it to survive without water for days. However, its body must remain moist, so it prefers traveling at night or during the early morning when dew is present. These nocturnal excursions enable it to colonize new areas with ease. The climbing perch doesn't just rely on its own mobility. It hitches rides on fishing boats, clinging to their hulls and traveling to new territories. Once there, it establishes itself, often unnoticed until its presence begins to wreak havoc. The approach of the climbing perch to Australia sounded alarms among scientists and conservationists. Australia's unique biodiversity evolved in relative isolation, making its ecosystems particularly vulnerable to invasive species. Local wildlife is unaccustomed to dealing with such a resilient adversary. Animals that attempt to eat the climbing perch face severe injuries or death, while native aquatic species must compete for resources against a fish that seems almost indestructible. In response, Australian authorities launched awareness campaigns to teach citizens how to identify and report the climbing perch. Scientists worked to slow its spread, 
but the fish's adaptability and tenacity made containment a daunting task. The stakes are high, allowing the climbing perch to establish itself in Australia could lead to irreversible ecological damage. The climbing perch is not the only invasive species causing problems. Throughout history, human activity has introduced non-native species to new environments, often with devastating consequences. For example, the brown tree snake was accidentally brought to Guam after World War II. With no natural predators and an abundance of prey, the snake population exploded, decimating local bird species and causing widespread power outages by climbing electrical lines. The brown tree snake's invasion of Guam is a stark reminder of how a single species can disrupt an entire ecosystem. Invasive species are responsible for the extinction of 13% of all known extinct species over the past 500 years. They have contributed to the decline of 25% of plant species and 33% of animal species. Unlike sudden natural disasters, such as meteor strikes, invasive species gradually and systematically alter ecosystems, making their impacts even harder to mitigate. So, what can be done to stop the climbing perch? Some propose fishing out as many as possible, but this only provides temporary relief. Others suggest using poison, but such measures risk harming native species and further upsetting the ecosystem. The challenge lies in finding a solution that targets the climbing perch without collateral damage. Ultimately, preventing the spread of invasive species requires proactive measures. Stricter regulations on international shipping and fishing practices, as well as public education campaigns, can help reduce the accidental transport of invasive species. In the case of the climbing perch, vigilant monitoring and early intervention are crucial to preventing its establishment in new regions. The climbing perch is a stark reminder of how small changes can lead to massive disruptions. Its story is one of adaptability, resilience, and unintended consequences. While this fish may be a marvel of evolution, its presence in new ecosystems threatens to unravel the delicate balance of life on land and in water. As Australia and other nations work to address the climbing perch threat, the broader lesson is clear, humanity must take greater care in managing the movement of species across borders. The stakes are not just ecological but existential. The survival of countless species, including our own, depends on maintaining the intricate web of life that sustains our planet.